case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1988, the Texas Courts of Appeals heard the case of Zwack v. State, a fascinating case revolving around the usage of learned treatises as evidence and the instructions offered to the jury during the defendant's intent to argue self-defense under an insane delusion. At the epicenter of the lawsuit was a man found guilty of the brutal attempted murder of a peace officer, sentenced accordingly to 45 rigorous years behind bars. This defendant, in an unusual move, attempted to make a case for self-defense, but base his argument on the belief of an insane delusion, a proposition swiftly rejected by the court. Adding to the trial's complexity was the question of the constitutionality of a section of the Texas Criminal Procedure Code and the utilization of learned treatises as evidence. One of the more contentious points was the jury's instruction during the punishment phase. Here, the defendant argued that the trial court erred in instructing the jury concerning the possibility of parole. In his words, he believed this significantly impacted the sentencing, contributing to the excessive punishment handed down by the jury. Despite the legitimate avenue for dispute, the court wasted no time in nullifying his arguments, resolutely ruling out the points of error. The court reached a consensus that the missteps in procedures had not contributed to or influenced the punishment decided upon by the jury, and as a result, the court upheld the conviction. Surprisingly, the state made no move to challenge the defendant's motion for a new trial or to question the validity of any alleged jury misconduct without the necessary supporting affidavit. In what can only be described as an intriguing recognition of double standards, the Court of Criminal Appeals regarded the trial court's additional jury instructions significant. While the wrapped-up lawsuit remains a testament to the complex intricacies of legal battles, the court's decision ultimately upheld the right for the law to remain free of subjective influence. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.